Hi, my name's Lily, and today we are here to learn how to make star sticks or dragon eyes. And this is a really sweet handcraft that you can do inside or outside. Uh, and when you learn it, you can then teach other people. So, as you can see here, I got a lot of different sizes, a lot of different materials. I want to lay it out step by step for you, so it's pretty easy to follow. So, before we start with the instructions, I'm going to let you know what you need. Uh, it's good. I like to work on a surface that's relatively uh, at belly, belly height. Um, not necessary. You can stand, you can sit, whatever you're comfortable with. And then the two other things that you'll need are scissors and rope or string, yarn that you're going to use. And so I, as you can tell, I pre-cut these to make the filming of this video easier, but before I cut them, I started out with um, spools or balls of yarn that I got from uh, Michaels, or you can get them online. So, when you have your scissors and all your materials, oh, and of course, <laughs> a stick, because we are making our star sticks. Um, so yeah, so friends, as you can see, we, uh, we have a lot of different sizes and shapes and materials here, and so today we're just going to learn how to do a basic uh star stick and so what i'm gonna encourage people to do it's okay if your uh stick is not broken yet but either find a long stick or find two sticks of relatively the same uh length and thickness but a way to make sure that you have that perfectly from the get-go is just find a big stick and then simply oh, <laughs> crack <laughs> and then you have your two materials that you need you got your string and uh, yeah, we can get going. It is helpful. I like to teach folks how to make star sticks by, instead of using the nice, beautiful, colorful, cheerful yarn, I like to use another material to lash the star stick together. So here we have some raffia. That is a, a store-bought, uh, you can uh, harvest uh, raffia, but not in this state or in our ecosystem. Um, but yeah, so you can just get this, um, again, like I said, online or at Michael's. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a plus sign. So an up and down plus sign. Not a multiplication, but a plus sign. And what you're going to do is really simple. You know, everyone kind of has their own way of doing this. Um, I don't like to tie knots in mine. If you want to tie a knot on one and then tie them together, you can. I just like to make it pretty seamless uh, without knots. So what I like to do is I always, uh, and if it's not perfectly straight right away, that's a-okay, because uh, it's all a process. And please remember, when you're doing any type of uh, craft or handwork or anything, actually, it takes a lot of practice. So don't look at my hands and be like, how is she doing that? It's, um, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> and it gets better with each time. And I encourage you to keep your, uh, keep your, you know, the firsts of the things that you make, because it's nice to see in the future, like, wow, anyone have uh, any artwork at home or anything that they made? Like, I have my first star stick that I made at Wild Earth a bunch of years ago in uh, 2009. Some of you probably weren't even born, <laughs> but it's fun. So wait, as you can see now, I'm, I'm getting, uh, as I talk and kind of uh, give myself a little bit of time to work, you can see that this plus sign is pretty sturdy. Um, and so all we're doing right now, and don't really worry if it's not, you know, it's not anything super pretty, that's A-OK. -okay. Um, <laughs> but once you have your plus sign fashioned, and you actually don't even need to worry, very low stress. Star sticks are very uh, forgiving. Uh, oh yeah, and it's unraveling, but we're not going to worry about that. So when you have it pretty um, sturdy, you're just going to pick out, I'm going to grab a few strands, and I love these cheerful colors. Orange is my favorite color. Little trivia about me, <laughs> if you want to know. Maybe that'll be a natural mystery question. A staff natural mystery question. Um, so I'm gonna do orange and we're gonna get my red and we're gonna get some pink. And so what's fun is you, um, when you're cutting these strings, it's important to say that they can be roughly, these are roughly arm's length, but I've seen people use super, super, super long lengths. I just like to make it easy, um, again, for filming this video, but also if you are, um, if you're working with a lot of kids, imagine having a bunch of kids say, help me, help me. So it's nice to have them pre-cut. And you're welcome to pre-cut them before you start. So what you do, and we are going to have, uh, you're going to be able to see this from different angles, but I'm going to describe it first, and then you'll, you'll see what I'm doing. 
is, um, and again, there's no need to tie knots, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what you're going to do is you kind of pick a side that feel, maybe you feel called. I think I'm feeling, I'm going to have this be the top. And so what you do is, again, no knots. You want to get your string kind of just roped around a few times. And know that you're going to be working from the inside out. So I wrapped it a few times, and I'm now laying down the first strands. And what's beautiful about this craft um, is that the first, uh, the first time you go around and do it, you're pretty much just following the path of the string in front of what you're working on. Um, and what's really cool is that this is a pretty, once you get the hang of it, it becomes mindless and you can kind of, you know, you don't have to look at it and, and do it. You're able to, uh, you know, I've had really a lot of fun time chatting at a fire or listening to music or singing is fun. But um, yeah, and it's a beautiful kind of pattern that you start to see being built. Cool. So yeah, here's a good time to kind of more specifically describe the motion that I'm doing. So I am indiv individually, each point of the stick is getting individually wrapped and you can actually see on the back because it, it's individually wrapped upon the stick. So I'm wrapping it, I am going around the stick in a clockwise direction and then I'm just following the string in front of me and it's going in a, well, it's backwards for you all, but it's uh, in, an, an, in a counterclockwise position. So I'm, you know, wrapping, going around, wrapping along the stick through the bottom and then back over and then turning it to the right, but I'm going left. And you'll see in the zoomed in version. Okay, now we're gonna switch color. We're gonna brighten this up because red is beautiful, but what's more beautiful, but orange there too. So again, no need to knot a knot. Um, to not a knot, <laughs> you're gonna uh, wrap your new color, so you're adding a new color, so you're pretty much just gonna wrap over where you ended, and the only way, the way I ended the last one is I just continued to wrap the string around. So my hands, my brain is working faster than my hands, which is okay. So, nice, and now you have your new one wrapped on, and again, you're just following that same pattern. You're wrapping around each stick, wrapping around it, going around and under, and then over, and then following the string in front of it. So you're following a pattern. And then it becomes very, uh, almost mindless. I could close my eyes and do it. But it's this really beautiful pattern, and I'll show you when we're at the end, when we're at the end with the product, I'll show you um, there is a difference and maybe you can maybe you'll notice the differences before I tell you but um, this is a really sweet uh, yeah sweet craft to, to do if you're uh, if you got some time and want to do it so awesome we have our finished product here and I just want to here just kind of show the show the front and the back so that you can know uh, the correct way that a star stick should be done. And so the way that you know that you've done it correctly is if the front is this smooth, flat uh, surface, and then the back is a contrast to that, or different, where you can see the plus and you can see each of the star sticks um, uh, individually wrapped. Hey, thanks so much for spending this time with me. My name is Lily. Uh, please feel free to check out um, the Wild Earth social media pages if you want to see more awesome videos.